Dear students, in this era of technological revolution and with a great boom in the field of information technology, knowledge of computers becomes very essential for students. Keeping this in mind and with a view to spreading computer literacy among our very young students, we are pleased to start introduction to computers. So dear students, from today we are going to start the first lesson of introduction to computers. And today's topic is Internet and Email. Dear students, the word Internet is a combination of two words, interconnection and network. The Internet is a network of thousands of computers across the world. In short, the Internet is a network of computer networks. The Internet is not owned by anybody, but there are various organizations that manage different parts of the network. Uses of the Internet Email, electronic mail, is used to send mails through the Internet. Using emails, you can exchange text messages, pictures, sounds, etc. with other Internet users across the world in just a few seconds. You only need to have an email account, which is provided free of cost by most servers. News Groups News groups are used to exchange views, ideas, news and other information. An internet user can directly participate in discussions on different topics. Online chatting and conferences. Internet users across the world can communicate live with one another. There are special software to have audio video conferences on the internet. Other uses buying and selling products through advertisement on the internet managing bank accounts studying a subject of one's choice and obtaining a degree reading newspapers magazines etc watching videos playing games and listening to music ordering books sending greeting cards so dear students in this video we have learned some basic information of internet and uses of the internet. So watch the video carefully and understand the lesson.